contain them? Is it similar to that? You, you might get a run or two, but you got to stop them on most of them? Um, you know, not everything's going to go according to plan. There's going to be times where he can break a tackle, you know, break through every once in a while. But, you know, as long as we keep it under control, I mean, uh, that's pretty much one way we can contain him. Yeah. Thanks, Ricky. Yep. You may have just answered this, but Kadeem Carey, he's second in the country in yards per game, led the nation last year. What makes him such a special back? Uh, you know, he's just um, agile. Um, he, he's a power runner and also a quick back at the same time. Uh, he, when it's time to lower the pads, he lowers the pads. And when it's time to be quick on his feet, he's quick on his feet. And so that's what makes him a, a very agile quarterback and very good. Does he remind you of anybody you guys have faced? Um, or anybody on this team that you've had in your recent years? Um, you know, one one running back that kind of reminds me of uh, Stephon Taylor last year at Stanford. Uh, you know, he was a power back, and at the same time, he's he's pretty quick. So you know, kind of similar um, in their running game. And so you know, yeah. you guys were one of a few teams to hold him under 100 yards a year ago. He hasn't been held under 100 yards this year. What do you remember from facing him last year that you guys did to, to stop him and, and keep him? I think he was at 90, 20 carries for 90 yards. Uh, you know, we just got to stop the downhill run, um, you know, clog up the middle so, so it can make him go uh, side to side. Uh, that's probably the main focus of this game with being able to stop a good running back. And so, you know, just stop the runs up the middle and make him go outside. How similar is their offense to what you guys do? Um, you know, offense, yeah, uh, it's pretty similar. Um, I mean, there's some things where they do a little differently, but overall, it's nothing we haven't seen before. And so, you know, we, we know what to prepare for. BJ Danker, um, a new quarterback last year, was Matt Scott. It, it, is, is the offense different to prepare for with Danker than, than Scott? How do they differ? Um, you know, Danker is a little more uh, mobile, a little mobile quarterback. Um, you know, he's good on his feet and at the same time running. So, you know, he likes to scat, scatter around a lot. And so that's one thing we should prepare for is just being able to contain him also. You guys are used to facing yeah. guys like that. <laughs> yeah. You would have been a senior in high school 2009 with a crazy game in Arizona. <laughs> Do you remember watching that? Were you a commit yet for Oregon at that time? I wasn't a commit, but yes, I remember watching it. Um, it was an intense game. I remember I was about to go into the movies with my family, and uh, I told them they got to wait a few minutes because I got to watch this game to see who wins, and went into overtime, and, um, you know, Oregon came out with it. Yeah, it was pretty wild. Yeah, it was, it was a good game. Two years ago, what do you remember from going down there to Tucson? Um, you know, they have a pretty good environment, um, you know, their, their crowd is very loud um, and so, you know, that obviously that we know what that's like. So other than that, I mean, it's just like any other game, um, like coach always likes to emphasize it's a faceless opponent, that's how we got to go into it.